Imala slum in Mumbai, the largest in Asia, is now of great concern. Four people testing positive for the virus. For more, let's go to CNN's Erika Sud, uh, who's joining us live from New Delhi. A, a, a densely populated slum. One imagines a lot of fears about how it could spread there. Fill us in on that and also this candlelight vigil. Michael, that's a logistical nightmare, isn't it? Because we're talking of a population of at least one million people in the Dharavi slum alone, one of Asia's largest slums. And the, po the density of the population, believe it or not, is 30 times that of New York. We have five cases there, you pointed out rightly, four confirmed cases, while one death did take place as well last Wednesday. Now, the man who died was a 56-year-old man. He had no travel history. That is important. There was no travel history connected with the man who died last Wednesday. A sweeper also was confirmed to have the coronavirus. Now, three more cases over the last two days have emerged. We're talking about a huge density of population in the Dharavi slum. This is a logistical nightmare for the simple reason that these people live cheek to jowl in that area. They don't have access to running water. They don't have access to toilets within their homes, Michael. So they actually have to walk out of their homes even now while a few areas are sealed off and they have to walk to that public toilet, 1,440 people to one public toilet in the slum of Dharavi is what we have as far as our statistics are concerned. Now, this remains a very, very big challenge for the Indian government. They're doing as much as they can. As far as the candlelight vigil, from Sunday evening is concerned. India responded massively to the Prime Minister's call that he made on Friday asking people to come together in the dark hour that the nation is facing. We saw people to go to their balconies, to their doorsteps. They did light diyas, which are known as candles and lamps otherwise, as well as used torches. But you know what? There were a few people who really didn't adhere to the call by the Prime Minister. They actually went ahead and burst firecrackers. That happened right outside my balcony as well. And when I spoke to other friends, it was happening across other metropolitan cities. So clearly, it's not a phase right now for people to actually go ahead and burst firecrackers, but adhere to the lockdown call that ends in another 10 days from now. Michael.